5% cashback in AlphaTame Fab Rewards. Register your card on the Blue app for even more cashback savings. Get your Blue Fab credit card through the Fab Mobile app today. Conditions apply. Hey there, what's your idea of an epic winter night in Dubai? I definitely go to JBR. You can chill out with our fresco dining, shop at boutiques, and enjoy fun attractions. That's a plan. And guess what? They've got outdoor movie nights like classic movies under the stars. Sounds amazing. And more. The family specials and all the exciting events and activities oh. happening throughout the season. They've got it all. Seriously, and create unforgettable memories this winter. Visit JBR.ae today. Center. This is Dubai 92 News, powered by Etihad Airways. 20 years together. The journey continues with you. Find out more at Etihad.com. Good evening, I'm Andrew Hogsey. The Federal Authority for Nuclear Regulation has issued the operating license for Unit 4 of the Braca Nuclear Power Plant. The license, with a duration of 60 years, was issued to Nawa Energy Company, which is responsible for the operation of the facility located in Abu Dhabi's Al Dafra region. Fanner conducted a thorough assessment of the application and aspects related to safety, security, and compliance with regulations. Nawa will now undertake a period of commissioning to prepare for the commercial operation of the unit. Moving abroad, the World Health Organization says it's very worried about the spread of disease in Gaza as weeks of Israeli bombardments have led to the population crowding into shelters with scarce food and clean water. Richard Pipercorn, WHO representative in the occupied Palestinian territory, says more than 70,000 cases of acute respiratory infections and over 44,000 cases of diarrhea have been recorded, figures significantly higher than ex Expected. The start of the rainy season and the possibility of flooding has also increased fears that the enclave's sewage system will be overwhelmed. The absence of fuel has forced the shutdown of sewage pumping stations and desalination plants, increasing the risk of water contamination and the outbreak of disease.